as to where the system is at. Uh, the lights, we've kept it on. It's been hard work. Uh, I have at least 46,000 people that are very, very tired. They're working very hard and they're fully committed to making sure this happened and without them we would not be able to keep the lights on. But it also comes at a high cost. High cost in terms of people as I've indicated, but also high financial cost to Eskom in terms of making sure we, we balance all our requirements. We have declared three power emergencies in November last year uh, and also last week. Uh, and that is really important because from a system operator perspective, the one thing that we will not allow to happen in South Africa is to make sure that we get into a situation where we lose control of the power system. And I must give you the full assurance that at all times, ESCOM has got absolute control of the power system within the country. We have a very strong, competent team, all the way from power station managers and teams to national control to our customer services teams and distribution teams throughout the country. We have avoided load shedding. Uh, we have seen customers responding to the standard protocols that are in place, particularly our large customers, but more importantly, actually a lot of the contribution comes from a voluntary contribution across the commercial and residential sector amongst our customer base. So as we've said, that, that system will remain tight uh, up to the end of the summer as we do all our maintenance. Uh, and uh, throughout the winter until a substantial part of the build program is delivered, not just the first few units that we're building on. You need to start, we're talking about a system that is 43,000 megawatts big. It's a large system, so you would need to add quite a few of the new units in order to make sure you have adequate reserves. As in 2013, our maintenance has increased. It is significantly increased throughout the year, and uh, this obviously have a potential that increases the constraint, because once we take the capacity off, as the minister has indicated, it is off four months. Uh, we can't return it to service when something else happens within the power system. And so our call for customers, it will only take 10% across the customer base. 10% on the summer demand of 31,000 megawatts, 10% of the winter demand of 38,000 megawatts. That is all that it needs from everybody in the country. And so when we make a call to be customers, we're not interrupting their supply. We are asking them to reduce <coughs> the supply by 10%. And that is the, the call that we make to our customers.